It's, uh, I think it's about one year ago. Uh, Emilio uh, went to see, went to the Loop Art Fair in Barcelona. That's where he saw one of my work. Uh, it's called My Voice Would Reach You, which is, is also in this uh, uh, exhibition. And he saw that work, and I think he liked it. And so he contacted my gallery, and they sent me, sent him the works, my works, and he watched uh, many of my work, and I think he enjoyed it. So that's why I'm here now to pre present my work. Oh, I have some photo also in, in this work, in this uh, exhibition, but drawings, yeah, why not drawings? Uh, yeah, we can have drawings if, if we have space, if we have, uh, if we make a section, but uh, I mainly make videos, so uh, videos are like uh, the most important. important substantial part of my work, and drawings and photos are like uh, that are kind of uh, uh, around the vo videos. Each video, to make, for example, to make this video, I make many drawings. I make many uh, like photos, and they are all related to each videos. So if I have more space, then probably I'll be able to show these things. And if I make a catalog, then I want to show together with drawings and uh, with a video so that people know how these works became, yes, how, how it, it was made. Always, I, I'm always making a little drawing in my notebook, and, and uh, something happens in this process, and then I feel like, okay, maybe there's something with this drawing. Maybe I can make it into video. So always start with the drawings. For example, this work is, the, originally, it's more close to that photo, uh, and that photo is originally from uh, some drawing I made in my notebook. So, uh, but over the over the production, when I'm making this video, it takes like uh, six months or one one month, one 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 year, and then over these times, the story, uh, the, the the work evolves, like uh, changes. And in the end, it becomes something like this, which is totally different. Like, uh, it's not the same at all from the drawing I started with. It's different, but it's just it's, it's the same work. You know, it's it's a same pro one one process, one long process. And in the process, I make many drawings. And also, after I made this video, I also make again make drawings and try to apply, try to apply this, what happened in the video, into the drawings again. So it's connected, yeah. Video is like a, in a way it's easiest medium because with photo it doesn't move. No, the drawing, it doesn't move, but video, it moves and it has sound. You can put music if you want to, you can put words, so you can put so many things. And I, I'm like, a, I tend to put many things, like a, the photo, you know, I try to put so many things in one picture, so it, it suits the way I work with. And also, you know, it's, it's so interesting about the, the video or moving image is that it can uh, directly control people's emotion or perception. You know, with, it's so difficult to make people cry with uh, one painting. You must be so skilled to do this. But with, with video, it's so easy. So easy to make people cry. You know, if you watch so many films, of course, I, I'm, I cry many times. So it's, it's very powerful media. And uh, I, I want to experiment, but it's powerful, but at the same time, we don't know yet. Like, uh, we, uh, we know many things about video, but at the same time, we don't know many parts of yet. So I want to explore more of the possibility of what this media can do, and what, what it can do, what it cannot do, and what we should do, and what we shouldn't do. Uh, 
like uh, I'm kind of doing experiment. I'm like uh, I feel like I'm a scientist, and you know I'm doing experiment uh, and see how people react to each each uh, experiment I make. I made a title, and uh, this, the work that I'm presenting here is the work that I made in the last three, four years in Japan. And in 2007, I came, I came back to Japan from, uh, I, I was living in, in Amsterdam before, but uh, in 2007, I came back to Japan, and then that's when I decided to deal with my own country, like uh, the, the Japan became my material. And since then I've been using, not, I, I've been using Japan as my material and we, I have been making each work. So each, each work is one slice of Japan for me. You know, that work is one slice, this work is one slice, that one is another slice of Japan. And I'm taking, you know, from different, I'm, Taking different angle of Japan, and this, and uh, the problem, I think, uh, I'm not interested in uh, the beauty of the country. Actually, <laughs> it's said beautiful country, but uh, it's for me, it's ironical. I'm more interested in the problem and conflict of what's happening in Japan, and the the place where I feel uh, frustrated, or I get angry, or I don't like, and each part I try to make body to this problem or contradiction. So beautiful, but uh, uh, bah, 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 bah. there's one uh, prime minister, previous prime minister wrote a book about uh, in making a beautiful country. And he wrote, uh, when he became prime minister, he wrote like how Japan should be and how beautiful Japan is. And we, uh, he wrote this uh, book and I didn't like this, uh, the contents of the book because uh, I don't think what he said is beautiful, but it's, it's on contrary, it's quite ugly. So for me, this title is uh, ironical title. And, uh, and, yeah, and this, yeah, and I make art with using this, and my art, I, I think it, they're beautiful. <laughs> I hope they're beautiful. <laughs> yes. So sometimes they're not uh, smooth, sometimes they're noisy, sometimes they're, uh, you know, but I hope they're um, trying to make something beautiful out of, uh, of uh, ugly, ugliness happening in Japan. Uh, each video, for example, this, my voice would reach you in the first room. It's, uh, what is it about? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, in Japan. I used to work in a card company, when I, uh, like a credit card company, and I was doing a telephone uh, operator, and there are so many rules we have to, we have to act, you know? For example, you cannot hang up the phone before the customer. It's rude to hang up the phone. So you have to stay online no matter what they say. That's, that's a rule. And, so you, and also, like, you have to say certain things in a certain way. So there are so many rules and manuals, you know, manuals that I have to follow. So like uh, the people working in these telephone companies or operator, they're like, you have to be a good actor <laughs> or you have to be like a robot, you know? And uh, so I think that work is, deals with, uh, with this, uh, you know, kind of theater again. Uh, yeah, you wear this kind of mask in, <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the business. And uh, yeah. so I'm taking that part of Japan and this work is more to do with uh, nationalism. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Now uh, Japan is going down. The economy is going going is down for the last 15 years. We are already bad economy, and of course China is very strong now. That's so. Japan is used, Japan used to be a, the pride of Japan was big economy, but now we cannot say Japan as an economic powerful country, but 
China is much stronger than us now, so that Japan is looking for like new pride. And then many films are made about uh, kamikaze now to go back to the history and say, okay, here are our pride, you know? Here are people who throw their lives, like young people throw their lives to the country and we should go back to this. Many people are saying this. So I'm, this is my reaction towards this uh, nationalistic, uh, macho nationalistic um, ideology. And another work there on the train is, but uh, it's the same as the war in, uh, in the, the, yeah, like people wearing uh, this mask. And then another one there is, is similar to this. Yes, it's about uh, this regaining uh, nationalistic pride. Yeah, this is called, yeah. uh, it's a comedy. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, it's very difficult to explain this video. Uh, I had to make this work in, uh, in relationship between India and Japan. And it's uh, about India and Japan. It's it's very difficult. It's it's a long story. <laughs> it's very long story to ex yeah to explain this work is one of the hardest things because uh, you have to know a lot about the history of uh, uh, of Japanese uh, uh, Japanese history, but a lot to do with uh, nationalism, Japanese nationalism. The person who is reading the person uh, the the book the the person is reading is written by uh, one Indian judge during the war trial of World War II. Uh, my war trial, like uh, after the war, Americans, British, they came to Japan and they made a trial to, to, uh, to you know, to, uh, to charge uh, the war criminal. A Japanese war criminal, and and six people get hung, you know, and of course it's a war criminal, a war crime. So uh, anyway, uh, there's one Indian judge said, Japanese, they're all innocent, they're not guilty. You know? Okay, America. I, I try to make it simple. Americans or British, they said, okay, these people are guilty, guilty, guilty. Let's Let's hang them. Yeah? <laughs> but one Indian guy, Indian judge, said they're innocent. They are all innocent. Because he said, his point was that if Japanese are guilty, then British, Americans, they have to be guilty too. We are all, like, if, yeah, it's not fair to judge only Japanese as a, as a criminal. It's, everyone did bad things in the war. So everybody has to be, everybody has to be guilty or everybody's innocent. That's, and he wrote this very long uh, book about this. And, and, but this book was never read, you know, and the American banned it for, for a while. But so, so this guy, Indian guy, wrote this book. Uh, it was fair. But now in Japan, this book is like, uh, treated like a Bible for nationalists. You know, nationalist people love this book because it said, see, we are innocent, you know, we didn't do any bad things. <laughs> you know, of course we did bad things, many bad things, but national, nationalist people love this book because it said we are innocent. So this book has like two sides. One is like, you know, this judge is trying to make a very fair, uh, uh, saying like, we have to be fair. But at the same time, this the nationalist using it as a Bible to to say that we are, uh, we have to be, we were right to invade Asian countries. So this book has like contradiction. So with this performance, this guy is, you know, the, the central guy is reading it seriously, but at the same time, other, the, his other arms are making fun of it. And so it's just, you know, one is serious, but another one is, you know, this one, one, one monster reading this book and Half of his, the monster is try to be as serious as possible, but half, other half is just try to make fun of it. So it's, yeah.